Tonight, a deeper look at the impact the billion dollar Medicaid shortfall is having on Hoosier elders. We've been showing you how it's affecting children with medically complex health care needs. Now, WRTV's Meredith Hackler explains Hoosier households are facing more difficult decisions when it comes to care for older loved ones. As our loved ones age and need extra care, Many families prefer to provide the care themselves. She could still feed herself, luckily. I know that's going to, that'll also go away soon or sometime. Um, and then at nighttime, check her in, fill again, you know, make sure she brushes her teeth, change her clothes, and tuck her into bed, just like a little kid. Amy Moore's mother, Penny, has dementia. She and her family cared for her in home as long as they could. But when she needed more care than they could provide, they started looking for an assisted living facility. They were told the best payment option was to apply for the aged and disabled waiver. Penny was approved, so Moore and her family moved her into a facility. She's been approved, but it's not, she's not off the waiting list yet. So we thought, okay, we need to maybe seek legal advice. So we talked to a, a lawyer who's, she's uh, with an elder law, and she did not have good news to share. This is the letter that was sent out by the Division of Aging telling people. The elder law attorney is Claire Lewis. She says Moore's story is similar to many she has heard. Families get the approval letter from the state, but they do not get funding they need because of the wait list. What it appeared to have happened is that the state um, kept adding people to the roster, adding people to the waiting list, and approving service plans when they had no available slots for these folks. The Aged and Disabled Waiver allows an alternative to nursing home care. According to information sent out by the Family and Social Services Administration earlier this year, there were about 2,500 people on the wait list for someone Moore's mother's age with only 233 slots available. FSSA has said they will release 925 slots for all age groups, but in the meantime, the cost of paying out of pocket puts financial strain on families like Moore's. Uncomfortable. <laughs> we won't be able to sustain it long. Lewis believes the reason they're trickling out the spots is because of the budget, but she hopes the state will act sooner rather than later in fulfilling the care these elders need. I think they should absolutely take care of all the folks on the waiting list immediately. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. We did reach out to FSSA and the agency says there are just more than 13,600 people on the wait list and they say they are committed to continually looking at ways to improve the process.